Removing a white cataract can be challenging as it can become pressurized inside of the capsule. Here I take you through cataract surgery in a patient with a white cataract. A side port incision is created. Tripan blue or vision blue is used to stain the anterior capsule for better visualization. A 2.2 millimeter self-sealing corneal incision is created. Viscoelastic is reapplied to maintain the anterior chamber pressure. A 27 gauge sharp needle on a syringe filled with fluid is now used to aspirate and decompress the capsule of the liquefied cortex. This will help to maintain control during capsulorexis. Viscoelastic is reapplied. And now a capsulorexis can be completed. Caution is taken with a capsulorexis in a case of a white cataract as the pressurization can make it challenging to control the size of the capsulorexis. The vision blue was used nicely to stain the anterior capsule and helps the surgeon visualize the capsulorexis as it is being completed. The goal is to have a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis that measures around five to five and a half millimeters. The surgeon re-grasps the capsulorexis flap frequently to maintain complete control over the capsulorexis size. The capsulorexis is now complete. Viscoelastic and the flap are burped out of the wound. In hydrodissection, fluid is gently irrigated between the capsule and the cataract, separating them and allowing the cataract to rotate so that it can be broken up into fragments. Phacoemulsification is a sophisticated ultrasound technology that allows the surgeon to break the cataract up into segments for removal. The nucleus, the central part of the cataract, is first divided into two, here using a quick chop technique. The cataract is then rotated and divided into smaller fragments. The cataract fragments are removed with a specialized fluid and the ultrasound energy of phaco emulsification. As each nuclear fragment is emulsified, we start to be able to visualize the red reflex behind the white cataract. The main part of the cataract, the nucleus, is removed as the final fragments are emulsified. Some cortex and cortical cells still remain and will be removed after switching to a smaller handpiece using irrigation and aspiration. The IA handpiece has a silicone tip that protects the capsule as the cortical cells are removed. Here you can see the cells being polished off the capsule using the silicone tip. The central fibrotic plaque that is not easily removed with IA can be treated in the months after surgery with a simple office-based laser. Viscoelastic is now placed inside the capsule to prepare for insertion of the IOL implant. 
A one-piece artificial eye well implant is folded and inserted into the eye through the small 2.2 millimeter incision. The implant then unfolds and opens inside of the capsule, the natural support system of the eye that will keep it centered in place. The self-sealing wound is now hydrated. The IA handpiece is now used again to remove the remaining viscoelastic. Intracameral antibiotics can be injected at the end of the case. The wounds are well sealed, the eye is nicely pressurized, and the case is completed successfully.